Welcome back for another book review. Today we're talking about this one. So this is the art of, and I don't know how to say this word, my brain reads it as philandering, but I want to add a D. I want to say philandering, but I know that's not how it's pronounced. I think it's French or something like that. How to Wander with Intention and Discover a Better Life by Erica Owen. So in a way, it is kind of how the title talks about. It's basically a very beginner approach to how to walk mindfully. And they do this in a very approachable way. It's very similar to like a blog post or a magazine article is kind of how it's written. That is the most polite way to say that I gave it a two out of five star. I did not like it. The writing style isn't for me. I don't like this very casual, kind of trendy. It does doesn't really, I feel like, fit for a book. It fits better for quick, like, consumption media. So, like, blog post, Instagram, like, something where it's really condensed. Not a book. It just, it, I didn't like it. Also, the lack of, like, awareness from the author got really annoying really fast. So, one example of this was that the author, like, she gets on, like, a lot of random high horses and, like, just these random points that she just, like, refuses to let go of but also doesn't actually describe anything really. So like, it's constantly mentioned that this like mindfulness walking thing, whatever, was created by white men. And it's very, very obviously pointed out so many times and you're like, okay. But then also the author like just sidesteps <laughs> being like how to describe it for other people. And is like, well, if you're like another race, like, that's a you problem. You gotta go find out from somebody of your own. And that feels really weird to be like, oh, well, I can't speak about it. And I'm not gonna do any research to like add to a book on the topic. You gotta go figure it out yourself. That just, I didn't love that <laughs> at all. The other thing that I really didn't like about this book is that the author definitely comes from a place of privilege and specifically like, she has probably lived a very sheltered life and very much shows it and like some of her examples on the way she talks it's just like that isn't everyone's lived experience so one example and other reviewers pointed this one out as well the author talks about like if you have anxiety you need to get over it and just go outside and like prove to yourself that your anxiety is lying to you but then like a few pages later is like, but also when you're on your walks, like listen to your intuition. If you get like bad vibes, like listen to your gut. And then all of the comments pointed out that it's like, okay, so if nothing happens, it was your anxiety and you should have ignored it. But if something did happen, it was your instincts and you didn't listen to them. That checks out. And really the book didn't do much. Like it didn't really address like, if you are afraid. <laughs> for like whatever reason, whether it's because of race, because of gender, because of just where you live. And like also the fact that like not every place is accessible and to tell you to wander aimlessly in a car is not great either. Like there's a little bit of mindless driving, but not really. You need to be aware of what you're doing <laughs> because like if you are driving out like past city limits and you're out in the middle of nowhere, you need to be very conscious of like how much gas you're using and where the next gas station is because sometimes it can be miles and miles, like hundreds of miles before the next gas station. So like you don't want to get yourself screwed. People need to know where you are. And if you're meandering through like subdivisions and whatever, like you gotta be aware, <laughs> like there's other people. You need to be watching for pedestrians. You need to be watching for unattended children, for unattended pets. You need to watch for the drivers. That's not gonna give you that mindlessness thing. And also like, you're not gonna be able to wander even if you're on foot aimlessly either because like you still have to be very aware of your surroundings. And like, I know that that comes from my anxiety that like I don't, I'm not able to do that <laughs> and you know like I haven't been able to aimlessly walk around a place for years and you know the town I live in it's not really safe to do that and you know there's a lot of places where you just you can't do that and the author just didn't quite it felt very privileged that she's never really had to deal with anything where you are like having issues <laughs> because like I can't, like, our local cemetery I can't even go to because last time I was there walking. Okay, computer. That's fine. Anyways, <laughs> when I was at the local cemetery, 
the last time I was almost jumped and it's like, you know, like, you would think a cemetery of all places you could just meander aimlessly and be fine, but you can't. You really can't. And like, it's, the author just doesn't really talk about that and like the advice and stuff is just so, so basic and it's like, just go walk, just go walk. And it's like, this book managed to fill these pages with like, nothing really. It just, it was really not that good of a book. Like the information is so utterly basic. If you haven't come across it, I'm a little concerned for you unless you are like young, like early teenager, young. And like you've lived a very sheltered life because most of us have experienced this to some degree and it's, basic knowledge like it's nothing new and she even is like well you know there's a type of meditation that does this and i've done a meditation course and that's beyond simplifying that method of a technique that it this that's not the same thing at all so i would say the recommended audience for this book is if you are absolutely brand new to the idea of having like mindful walking not meditation walking, mindful walking, you've never read anything about it, maybe. Maybe this would be a good starting point for you. I'm personally very excited to take this back to the library and never think of this book again. Anyways, I would love to know your thoughts in the comments down below. As always, a huge thank you to my patrons. If you would like to support me and get access to exclusive content, it is patreon.com slash nightwillowcrafts. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I post every single day. And until next time, thank you so much for watching and bless it be.